Well, we all saw Mr. Soul, the documentary about Ellis Hazlip, a man who uh, pioneered uh, an influential early African-American variety show. His vision, his impact, mission, and energy just flow through what we have experienced. One of the things about the the, the, the era for me, because I, I, I watched the show as a high school, uh, high school teenager, was that it was presenting how things really change quickly, uh, you know, and, and to a point where it was black and pride were in the same sentence and that people were starting to wear African clothes and, 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 the dashiki. and Afros and, mm -hmm. the and, and right. Afros and soul was a part of that development. For me, this, this whole show was about joy, you know, mm -hmm. the, the finding the language of joy mm -hmm. um, and just celebration of black people doing what they do, whatever that is. And um, just a sort of warmth and acceptance. Soul was the was the show, was the joint, you know, and uh, and and, um, and Al and Alice Hill was the, was my connection to the show. And at the time she was married to Hal Jackson. And Hal Jackson was one of the first black DJs, first coming out of um of Washington DC. Mm -hmm. So this is a period of time where there's a few of us far between wanting to work in TV. So they were some of the people that encouraged me to do my thing. You know, Pal Jackson once said, whatever it is, they can never take your talent away from you, you know? Black expression is always a revolutionary act. Whether that's poetry or whether it's rhythm and blues, it's a revolutionary act and it's an act of survival. And so I loved the way that um you know he brought in all these different types of artists there was no hierarchy you know it was all of a piece and all important to creating these um the way that black people saw themselves through their creative expression for the first time having a show like that that ran for five years this was one of the early shows it wasn't you know something that we're used to now we you can turn on the tv now and you can see black people everywhere every conceivable kind of show but this was the era where if a black person was on tv everybody in the neighborhood was talking about it everybody in the neighborhood was saying be sure you watch this because it was just that rare to see a black person in any kind of positive light or in a light that really reflected what black communities were thinking about you got to have somebody go through the door <laughs> you got to have somebody break down and so now i think its legacy is that we have such a wide variety of people on color of people of color on television not as much as we need but certainly a wide variety so much variety that we can even have bad shows you know really bad shows and bad writing that survives as well as as, as excellent you know that's kind of a movement toward equality but i don't think there's really anything like soul there exists as far as i know no tv program that deals with my culture so completely so freely and so beautifully there is no alternative to soul.